Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Mr. Stephen Has a Dabble. Yeah, that's right. That's me having a dabble. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mr. Stephen Has a Dabble. Now, yesterday we were putting floors in, uh, and then we had to generate some bricks. Well, I've generated some bricks in the little gap between recordings, and uh, we're going to put those into the um, place where we were going to put them in the first place when we had a place to put them. Yes. So let's have a look at some uh, bricks. Here we go. We've got 53 of them. Not very many of them at the moment. Uh, we will get more as, as time goes on. Um, and we're going to need the illumination wand up again. Told you it was useful. Uh, because we're going to have to put uh, illumination... Firstly, I want to put it up here. So that the whole room's safe. Or safe-ish. Uh, then I'm going to take it away from here. And we just want it in corners again. So that we, we've not got too much of a problem with light. Uh, we've, like I said, we've only got 53 of these, so we're going to have to start placing them like this. We want many, many more, of course. Uh, and of course I can grab my builder's one to do the rest of this. Use the rest of these up. <laughs> That's not fair, we had one left. Let's see if we've got any more bricks made. Uh, yes, we have. Okay, so the other thing I want to be able to do, because th this is where we're going to keep the... That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. The other thing I wanted to do, I, I'm going to have a um, a player detector here, so that when you come close, you the, the actually the doors open automatically, uh, which is pretty cool. It's pretty groovy. Um, that that would be fun. I just, I like that kind of thing. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I think I'm going to do that. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'll have them open with a with a button. We'll, we'll see. Um, anyway, that's that, 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 that. We need a door now. So let's have a look at what we can do with crafting doors. And um, actually... That means going outside. To our little crafting grid here. And we're going to have a look up door. And there's lots of lots of lots of doors, but I, I'm actually looking for the molasses ones. Uh, let's just put in door. Uh, right. Uh, I'll find them eventually. No, that's not them. Um, M A L I S I. There we go. And the reason I wanted these is because I just I think they look nicer. There's a oh that's a nice one. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. Excellent, excellent. Because we can have that look for the garage. Like that. Oh! Like that. What happens, just out of interest, if I go into the other side? Okay, I want that. That's... that's it. Because that looks nicer. It just, it, there's something, something about it that looks nicer. Um, right, we need some things. Uh, first of all, I need a couple of slabs up there to, to finish that off. Because that's not finished off very well. Let's go up and have a look and see what's what's there. Oh, it's stairs that's the problem. Uh, so let's take away that. And actually, we can just have planks there, can't we? Like so. Although, you know what it would be fun to do? Is to run stairs around the top of this building, of, of, of this room. Let's try this. 
Let's get what stairs we have. I don't think we've got very many. No, we don't have very many of them. Um, but we'll get a few more. We'll only make up two lots, just to give this a go. And again, we'll need our illumination ones back in a sec, because I still want to have illumination up here. But I also want to give this room a little bit of depth. So we could do that and then still have Now, if we then take these away, I'm going to have to press F4. Yeah, we have we have a few problems there that might be solved with a thing here. Yeah, we do. Look at that. That's better. That looks nicer. Um, okay, there we go. We've got our doors in there. Now, the next thing that we said that we'd have to do... I'm just trying it. I'm just trying it. It worked on the other bit. Does that work as well? That works as well. That does work as well. I like that. I do like that. Because that's going to give us a few options with putting kind of plants and things down. That's, that's going to be cool. Okay. Now... Here's the other problem that we have here. Um, we did mention this yesterday. So a lot of this is just kind of making making do with what we had and, and, and fixing off any little problems and things. Oh, I can't, for some reason I can't put a slab there. Can I put a another sort of slab there? Can I type in the right box there, perhaps? That might help. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really matter that it's, like, what we could do. No, that's a bad idea. I know it sounds like a good idea in my head. It's not a good idea. Uh, what we want to have a look at is the kitchen stuff. Um, and we will have a look at decor craft stuff. That's the sort of stuff that I said uh Oh, there's a force field control. There's there's lots of things in Molasses Doors which look interesting, which I might have to try at some point. Uh, until then, however, let's, let's do this properly. <laughs> do this properly, like proper people. And uh, deco de de crew. I mean, it's the packs in here. We've used it before, but. Um... The deco bench doesn't seem to have a recipe. Let's see. Ah, it does have a recipe, it's just not useful. <laughs> That's a problem. Okay, so it's night time, that means we have to go and go and do and go and do a sleep. Uh, that means we've done about half a video because we get about two cycles. Um, okay, so let's look at this deco bench again. This is what we want. We don't have the middle bit. It should be easy enough to make. There we go. But we do have this bit. And this is the deco bench. Now, um, I'm not sure I want this to be inside as such. Come on, doors. There we go. But I kind of don't want to keep going inside and outside in order to put stuff in. So I think what I'll do for now is I'm going to put it over here somewhere. In the corner. Just out the way a bit. Because uh, this is kind of like our, our um, uh, what's it called? I put this in one place, really. Let's stick it over here. There we go. This is like a kind of workshoppy area, I think. That's what it's feeling like to me right now. 
Uh, and then you go into the garage, which has got sort of more workshoppy things and, and maybe a bike or two. Yeah. Bikes. Okay, so in here, we're going to have to put three different colours and we're going to have to put some um, clay. Lots and lots of clay. Lots and lots and lots of clay. So let's have a look at the clay. I'll tell you what, we can do the lapis first because it, it doesn't take too long. Um, you can see that the little blue thing filling up. So it takes three and a half of whatever it is that we're going to try and make. Uh, green, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. Three and three quarters. That's... I don't know if this works. Oh, it does. <gasps> it does! Brilliant, because we've got loads of this. And we need some red as well, which means we need red. That's not what I wanted to do. See how it's creating it, because it, because we hadn't got enough in the system. But um... Deco Craft is going to open up a whole heap of things for us. Now, the uh, last thing that we need is clay. And our clay look has been increasingly diminished. Now, can I put this in here? Yeah, I can. Can I put this in there as well? That's the wrong thing. I clicked on the wrong thing. Okay. There you go, look. This is what I'm talking about. Filling this stuff up with stuff. This basically means we can create as much Decker Craft stuff as we want. Because actually it doesn't take too much uh, to make any particular item. Uh, and we've got to, not going to want every item that we've got out there as well. So, so that's, that's fine. Uh, okay. Whiffle. That, that'll do. We don't need any more. Right, so uh, what we're going to... We're going to get rid of the builders' the ones because we need a bit of inventory space. This can go there. We're also going to Scarborough Fair. Parsley, sage, rosemary and wine. Uh, we're also going to start uh, by making our bed. I know. Uh, bed. And you can see we've got lots and lots of different sorts of beds in here now. Uh, my favourite are the double beds that you can get. So you've got the these, the, the, those are black ones, we've got blue ones. Almost any colour that you want. And I'm kind of in a bit of a black mood right now. So we're going to take one of those and one of those. I don't want a four poster bed. This isn't, you don't get four poster beds in rustic places. You'd not, not like this. But we will head upstairs. Um, and we're going to want our bed. Um, I, I was going to say central to the thing, but I've not left it in a position where we can have a central bed in the thing. So uh, what might be better then is to have uh, a bed. Not over by the balcony, because the last thing you're going to want to do is get out of bed and then fall off the edge of the balcony. That's not a good idea at all. Let's not put it there. Maybe we want it over here somewhere, but then you'd hit your head. We're going to have to have it here somewhere, aren't we? Um, I think we'd probably better... We could put it under the window and then put other stuff around it so that it looks better. So let's do that. Let's put our bed there. There we go. We've got a double bed. It's the first thing that we've got, and I, I can only sleep at night. That's fine. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, but we've got a bed in in uh, for the first time. Uh, obviously, still lots of things that we need to do, but to, to be able to start getting furniture and stuff in, 
that's pretty cool. Uh, so that's kind of where we're going to leave it for tonight. Actually, we've just hit the 15 minute mark. Um, obviously, tons and tons and tons and pots of stuff still to be going on with. Um, there's there's two levels of house to build, essentially, uh, and still some moving doors and things. And then we were going to get onto the super secret special base that we'll, we're going to be building. Uh, until next time, though, thanks very much for coming along. I hope you uh, like share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and, uh, of course, do all of those things uh, that, that help us to get to where we need to be with the, the, the channel. Not self-aggrandizing at all. If you want to have a look at uh, any of the links, then please do. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Until next time, thanks very much for coming along. Goodbye!